Howdy guys, hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, just wanted to share with you, look what I got on. This shirt's old, man. I got this shirt in 92. So I went and saw Tesla and Firehouse in upstate New York where I'm from. And uh, dude, let me tell you, man. Firehouse. You've got the expressions when you go to see a concert, you know, like, oh, they blew the roof off or they blew the doors off this place. No, Tesla rocked, <laughs> but Firehouse burned this place to the ground, man. I mean, Firehouse was whew, amazing. As a guitar player at that point for four years, um... I just stood there blown away by the entire band, not just Bill. I couldn't believe that this band, it was like if the industry themselves were able to accidentally have government access to creating a lab created perfect ultimate band. Firehouse rocks, man. Oh God. So then this morning, you know, I'm getting up and I see I got a direct message from Bill And I'm like, oh my God, Bill oh, I love Bill Averti. Yeah, I'm freaking out. <laughs> you know? And it was all like, you know, hey, dude, you know, when you get a minute, you know, you want to check out my, my song again, the, the newest one I got here for Strong and, um, you know, maybe post up a little review for it. And, you know, no big deal. I'm thinking to myself, oh my god, man, Bill Laverty just wanted me to do a review for his new song. And, wow, I love Bill Laverty, man. You have no idea how much I love this man. I got a lot of connections to this band. When I first saw them in here with Tesla in 92 from the Psychotic Supper, um, a couple of weeks later, my grandma Bruzy died. So we all, like my Aunt Mindy and I, you know, it, had gone um we just kind of you know take tesla and, and firehouse and and that's our message from grant you know um i had also uh another grandmother who's still alive um i was in color guard and winter guard and on their first album there's uh, an instrumental song and i actually for her birthday did you know a color guard routine for the um the instrumental on that album their first album rocks and uh, there's a lot of connections. So I don't want to say I'm biased when it comes to a new Bill of Verde song or Firehouse song or whatever it is, but I am. My honest, unbiased opinion, not having my love for Bill and the band, my unbiased opinion is Bill's new song, Strong, I was going to do this video with it playing in the background and point some things out to you and I don't want to do that. I don't want to take away from your own personal moment with it. I'd like to have you all go and check out the song so I'll include a link to the song itself um, you know, in the description for this video. And Bill, dude man, you asked me to do a review for this and I'm freaking out man. I'm like, oh my god Bill. Yeah. I love Bill Verdi, man. I love that man. And as a guitar player, that dude's got talent. That dude's got a lot of talent. Just watch Hot Licks, man. Me and all my friends back then were just blown away, dude. We gotta figure out how to do this. Yeah. When it comes to Strong, we all want our favorite bands out of the 80s to do the same style of music that we grew up on, but it's gotta be new and blah, 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 and all that. This song is completely every boy's dream when it comes to a band that their musicians may put out a solo project or something, you know, like, this rocks, dude. I can get down on this and rock out, and and it doesn't take away from my love of the band, Firehouse. It just adds to it. This is one of those songs that you're going to want to have in your music collection. The whole album, really, you know, but just for the song strong alone you're gonna want this album not even kidding dude this is amazing what type of song is strong well let's start out with the video the video does not have a 
multi-million dollar look to it, you know, even though it may have cost a ton of money. Um, the video itself has the feel, and I don't know if any of you out there have done this, but if you've ever had one of your friends in a band and they, you know, you go and hang out with them while they do practice and everything, that's the feel that it's got in this video, just watching it. As far as the music, it's an anthem. It's one of those anthems. I don't mean rock anthem, like we're not going to take it, you know. What I mean is one of those dedication songs. If you ever, as a, a musician, want to write a dedication song, this is like everything you'd want to write, you know. This is something that you can dedicate to, you know, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Uh, it's something that you can dedicate to, like, you know, someone you love, you know, my best friend, you know, whatever, you know, you can, uh, as a parent, you can dedicate this song to your child, you know, you just had a baby and oh, you're dedicating this song to your baby, you know what I mean? It's perfect for a parent to dedicate to their child. It really is. This song is brilliant. Everything about it was brilliant. I mean, I'm not sure if this dude sat down and it was all like, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to write one of those ultimate anthem dedication songs. And what would you say? You know, I don't know if the dude went, a, went about it that way or not, but it's got that whole feel, man. This is totally dedicational. You can dedicate this song to anybody, like I said, right down to dedicating it to your newborn child. I love this song, man. It rocks, it flows, it's easy on the ears. It's something you could play for your whole family. You know, whether, you know, your grandma listens to death metal or not, man. You could play this song for her or hey or whatever you want to, you know. And it just works. Everyone's going to love this song. It's not something that, you know, oh, this is great. This is a wonderful song, but you have to be a metalhead. No, this is one of those universal pieces. You can be a country fan, love country music all you want, man, and you're still gonna freak over this song. It's brilliant. The video is brilliant. His lips stand out in that video. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, dude, I love it. His guitar in that video stands out. It's got a number 13 on it. I was born on Friday the 13th, and this shirt, Psychotic Supper. Wait. There's my coin. There's my coin. 13. So it's got a lot of, uh, a lot in there for me to connect with, with my past, you know. Um, but it's so fresh. It's something that you can play and 20 years later, you can pop it on and it's still going to rock you just as hard as it did back then. It's amazing. Bill, I don't know how you went about writing this album, but it's brilliant. And he asked me to do a review on it and you had made, you know, the statement it's always been easier on the East Coast. It's been, you know, harder on the uh, on the West Coast as far as your fans go. Um, I'm not sure why or what that's like. I have yet to see you guys out West. You know, like I said, I'm from upstate New York. And that's where I've seen you. And on the East Coast, man, dude, everybody loves Firehouse. I'll try and help, man. If there's any way I can help, try and spread the word for you. Yeah, dude, I'm out here out West now, man. I live in L.A. now. You know, I'll do all I can to get all my West Coast friends out here to check you out, man. Whether they want to be all fans for Firehouse or just fans for you alone, Bill. You deserve it. I mean, you earned it. And this song alone is going to earn you fans if they just listen. So I'm asking all the world, will you please listen to this song? And I'll put a link up to it. Just check it out. Watch it. It's like you're hanging out with your best friends and they just happen to be a band and, you know, you're hanging out watching their practice, you know? That's what the video feels like. The music itself just... It's something you can play every day. 
and it's not going to get tired on you like so many songs do but we have a very few select songs as, as music lovers that you could play every day and you're not going to get old you're, you're not going to you know tire of hearing that you know it's a brilliant piece dude your guitar playing is is amazing. I'm so grateful that you did, you know, a, another guitar solo in it. As a guitar player and a fan of yours as far as being a guitar player, dude, you're brilliant, man. I mean, you've got talent. And you got singing talent. Your whole band's got talent. Your whole band is a lab-created band. Anything that the music industry ever wanted to put out, uh, produce and put out, um, as far as the ultimate music, you know, hairspray it all up and let's make it look perfect, polished. Your band is polished. Your music, even on your own, is polished. I mean, it's like you could sit there and play it over and over and over again. And you just can't think of anything that you could do to improve upon it. Or if you can think of something that could improve upon it. Like, you know, instead of this little piece here on the solo, try doing this instead, man. Let's, let's play that. It'll take away from the whole experience. Enjoy it. Rock out to it. Listen to it a couple of times. And then I'd like you to ask yourselves, is this something you can dedicate to someone you love? I know it is. Think about someone you love or something you love and dedicate this song to them. Now for me, I've dedicated a few Firehouse songs along the way to my family. I've never really dedicated music to anything other than people, except for one song. I dedicated Without You to my guitars by Molly Crew, right? I was all hanging out in my room, all trash, you know, rocking out. And, and then Molly Crew, you know, Without You comes on and I had my guitars in my hand. And so I dedicated that song to my guitars. This song, I dedicate to my life. Why? Because I want so much in life. I want to be so many things, I want to be a wonderful person, blah, 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 and all that, you know? Well, this song I'm dedicating to my life. You, my love, staring at the one in myself that is in this phone and I'm looking at myself kind of deal. Dude, I dedicate that to you. You rock, Chad Everhart. This is a song you can dedicate to anybody or anyone or anything, you know, dude. I'll dedicate this song to my guitars. But I dedicate this song to my life. Because me, myself, oh, you make me strong. And I'm so grateful for the day you came along. So I dedicate this song, Strong, by Bill Liberty, to me. And my love for myself and my desire to be all that I can be and to be the best man I can for myself, the ones I love, and this entire planet, dude. I want to be the best man I can be. I dedicate this to you, Chad. And Bill Averti, dude, if you ever want to do another video and you want to include an actor, I am a professional actor, and I'll dedicate my services to you. I will do a video for you for free. You asked me to do this review for you, and I'm blown away, man. Like Bill Averti, of all people, asked me to do a review. You got it, dude. You ever need a video done? You want someone to act in your videos? You can count on me. You won my heart the day you came along. So everyone, with what I've just stated, it's a dedicational song. It's a kind of anthem that you won't grow tired of, even if you hear it 20 times in a day. I put that to the test. I set aside all my love for Bill and Firehouse and everything and just played it over and over and over. Is this something I can hear more often? Or is this like, oh yeah, I love you, dude. But yeah, no, let's, I've heard it. That's great. No, this 
is something I want to hear all the time, man. This is one of those songs where you just can't get enough. You want more. So when it comes to playing the shows, and you play this song, make it longer. Stretch this song out as long as it goes, man. Because you just want more. You don't want it to end. When it comes to all the fans out here in the West Coast, they've been a little tough on you. Or we, you know, because I'm out here now. We've been a little tough on you. Um, I don't understand. Firehouse. If you've ever seen Firehouse perform, you will walk out of those doors, or if it's outside, whatever, you will be a fan of Tesla and Firehouse, because I saw them with Tesla, you know, the rock. Um, Firehouse is outstanding. The talent alone in this band blows my mind. They are lab created. It's so polished. But this song is stripped down. It's raw. It just strikes an emotional chord of love and dedication and honor. And that's who Bill Averti is to me, man. Bill Averti is an amazing dude. Not just an amazing talent, but he's a great guy, man. I mean, he's so awesome to talk to. Just go online and talk to him. He'll write back to you. That's a good guy. That's a great guy. I wish you all the success in the world, my friend. And I think Strong is one of the greatest songs I've heard in a long, long time. I've never heard anything like this before, even though we've heard all kinds of music just like it. This song is just completely on its own, and it stands out on its own. It will stand the test of time. There's only a few songs out there that you can think of right off the top of your head that are like that. Hysteria, or Without You, you know, I mean like... Song and Emotion, I mean, like, I'm naming off other bands. There's, of course, some Sugar on Me, there's another one, Def Leppard Wise, you know. This is one of those songs you're going to put in your heart, and it's going to stay for the rest of your life. You won't grow tired of this song. Just listen to it. You'll see. I hope you all rock out to it. As far as their fans on the West Coast... Dude, if I can help you become a fan, I'll help you become a fan. Because this band and that man, Bill Averti, is worth it. So I got asked this morning to, you know, check out his song again. And, you know, you know, maybe I'll post up a little review. You know, no big deal. To me. Oh, dude, to me, man. <laughs> Being able to do a review for someone I admire as a guitar player and a musician, you know, I'm blown away. That is a big deal to me to be able to do this. But what's more is this is somebody who's earning every bit of respect along the way. Just remember that. Just take all of what I said, add it up into a little ball, and now go check out this video. And then I want you to tell me flat out that this is a song that you cannot dedicate to anyone. Go ahead. Tell me. But make sure you tell me the truth. Because you're going to see flat out by the song, by the time it ends, this song will be in your heart for the rest of your life. You will not want this song to end. This song does not last for 20 minutes. And you're going to want to play this no less than 20 minutes kind of thing, you know? You're going to want to hear this over and over and over again. It just rocks, man. It's so strong. <laughs> and it's got so much talent behind it. But the words and the emotion that this song has makes this song an anthem and one of those ultimate, timeless, dedicational songs that you can dedicate to your loved ones 
or you can be a parent and dedicate it to your child, or you can be a child dedicating it to your parent who's just passed, whatever it is. This is a dedication song. It's unbelievable. And it's just a, a simple song, man. It just rocks. There's nothing over the top about this. I just can't believe this. And I'm so grateful you put your guitar solo back into it, you know? Because you're an amazing guitar player, dude. And you've influenced me and so many people that I grew up with that were guitar players. We are all just floored. Yeah. Wet Sound, you taught us all about that, dude. Go check out this song. And tell me what you think of it. And tell me the truth. Is this or is this not a song that is not only timeless, anthemic, but something that you personally can dedicate to someone you love? Namaste, my friends. I hope all of you in the world are having an amazing day, and I hope you all check out this song. I hope you all love Bill Laverde as much as I do, man. Even a fraction as much as I do. Because if you love Bill Laverde and his band Firehouse, you know, if you love him even a fraction of how much I love this band and this band's talent and that man and that man's talent, you'll be a fan of Bill Laverde and Firehouse for the rest of your soul's time in space. May God bless you, Bill. I hope this review helps. I'm floored you asked me to do this review. It is an honor for me. That's how much I love Bill Averti. You make me strong, Bill. I love you. Namaste.